tonight's 9 at 9. Severe flooding taking over parts of North Carolina. The National Weather Service reports Mountain Island Lake has reached its second highest water level in history as of last night. Emergency crews have been busy making high water rescues. And check this out, all that rain causing significant road damage like the massive hole you see here. A state of emergency has been issued in some counties. A San Antonio man facing several charges following an attempted robbery Saturday night. Police say 19 year old Gervon Amante Walker held up the subway restaurant on Petrenko Road. During that robbery, Walker was grazed by a bullet after he reportedly pointed his gun at officers. They say he held one employee hostage for a time, but eventually let them go and surrendered. Walker faces two counts of aggravated kidnapping and one count of aggravated robbery. Downed trees, power lines, and a crane collapse. People in Dallas are cleaning up after last night's deadly storms there. We've learned the name of the woman who died in that crane collapse. She's been identified as 29-year-old Kirsten Simone Smith. Six others were injured, two of them in critical condition. A California racetrack has been asked to shut down after two more horses died over the weekend. That brings the number of horse deaths at the Santa Anita Park to 29 since December. Officials say the park will remain open until June 23rd. There are six scheduled races between now and then. Video out of Cleveland, Ohio, showing how powerful a 4.0 magnitude earthquake was this morning. You can see the city's traffic cameras shaking. More than 200 people reported feeling the rumble. No injuries or damages have been reported. A San Antonio woman lost her home and her pets in an early morning fire on the northwest side. The flame started at Snowflake Mobile Home Park around 3.30 this morning. The woman is okay, but two of her cats could not be found. The cause of the fire was under investigation. In Scotland, Greenpeace activists recorded themselves at the top of a 27,000 ton oil rig. The activists say they're threatening to stay there unless BP stops drilling new wells and switches to renewable energy. In a statement, BP says it recognizes the right for peaceful protests, but calls this demonstration irresponsible. Dramatic video of an apartment fire happening in East London on Sunday. About 100 firefighters helped put out this blaze. All the residents were evacuated and are okay. 20 flats were destroyed, 10 others heavily damaged by heat and smoke. A sea lion rescue caught on camera in California. A few SeaWorld workers helped free a sea lion pup from a plastic ribbon wrapped around its neck. The rescuers say these types of issues could be prevented by not littering. To read more about these nine stories, go to ksat.com slash news at nine.